translated by Bhikkhu Bodhi. Suttacentral.net and Suttas.com Part 4 The Book of Six Sense Bases Salayadanavika Chapter 1 Salayatana Samayuta, On Six Sense Bases 071, SN.35.1 SN.35.22 SN.35.1 Ajhatanaksa Sutta, the internal as impermanent. Thus have I heard. On one occasion the Blessed One was dwelling at Savathi in Jita's Grove, Anathapandika's Park. There the Blessed One addressed the Bhikkhus thus, Bhikkhus. Venerable Sir, those Bhikkhus replied. The Blessed One said this, Bhikkhus, the eye is impermanent. What is impermanent is suffering. What is suffering is non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself. The ear is impermanent. The nose is impermanent. The tongue is impermanent. The body is impermanent. The mind is impermanent. What is impermanent is suffering. What is suffering is non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself. Seeing thus, Pikhas, the instructed noble disciple experiences revulsion towards the eye, revulsion towards the ear, revulsion towards the nose, revulsion towards the tongue, revulsion towards the body, revulsion towards the mind. Experiencing revulsion, he becomes dispassionate. Through dispassion his mind is liberated. When it is liberated there comes the knowledge, it's liberated, he understands, destroyed his birth, the holy life has been lived, what had to be done has been done, there is no more for this state of being. The six interior sense fields are impermanent, suffering, and not self. When a noble disciple truly sees them like this, they become disillusioned and liberated. SN.35.2 Ajhataduka Sutta, the internal as suffering. Pikhas, the eye is suffering. What is suffering is non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself. The ear is suffering. The nose is suffering. The tongue is suffering. The body is suffering. The mind is suffering. What is suffering is non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself, seeing thus. He understands. There is no more for this state of being. The six interior sense fields are suffering and not self. When a noble disciple truly sees them like this, they become disillusioned and liberated. SN.35.3 Ajhatanata Sutta, the internal as non-self. Pikhas, the eye is non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself. The ear is non-self. The nose is non-self. The tongue is non-self. The body is non-self. The mind is non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself, seeing thus. He understands. There is no more for this state of being. The six interior sense fields are not self. When a noble disciple truly sees them like this, they become disillusioned and liberated. SN.35.4 Bairanaksa Sutta, the external as impermanent. Pikhas, forms are impermanent. What is impermanent is suffering. What is suffering is non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself. Sounds. Odors, tastes. Tactile objects, mental phenomena are impermanent. What is impermanent is suffering. What is suffering is non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself. Seeing thus, Pikhas, the instructed noble disciple experiences revulsion towards forms, revulsion towards sounds, revulsion towards odors, 
revulsion towards tastes, revulsion towards tactile objects, revulsion towards mental phenomena. Experiencing revulsion, he becomes dispassionate. Through dispassion his mind is liberated. When it is liberated there comes the knowledge, it's liberated, he understands, destroyed his birth, the holy life has been lived, what had to be done has been done, there is no more for this state of being. The six exterior sense fields are impermanent, suffering, and not self. When a noble disciple truly sees them like this, they become disillusioned and liberated. SN.35.5 Bairaduka Sutta, the external as suffering. Pikhas, forms are suffering. What is suffering is non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself. Sounds. Odors. Tastes. Tactile objects. Mental phenomena are suffering. What is suffering is non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself, seeing thus he understands, there is no more for this state of being. The six exterior sense fields are suffering and not self. When a noble disciple truly sees them like this, they become disillusioned and liberated. SN.35.6 Bairanita Sutta the external as non-self. Pikhas, forms are non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself, sounds comma. Odors comma. Tastes. Tactile objects comma. Mental phenomena are non-self. What is non-self should be seen as it really is with correct wisdom thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself. Seeing thus he understands, there is no more for this state of being. The six exterior sense fields are not self. When a noble disciple truly sees them like this, they become disillusioned and liberated. SN.35.7 Ajhatanaka Titanagata Sutta, the internal as impermanent in the three times. At Savathi. Pikhas, the I is impermanent, both of the past and the future not to speak of the present. Seeing thus, Pikhas, the instructed noble disciple is indifferent towards the eye of the past, he does not seek delight in the eye of the future, and he is practicing for revulsion towards the eye of the present, for its fading away and cessation. The ear is impermanent. The nose is impermanent. The tongue is impermanent. The body is impermanent. The mind is impermanent both of the past and the future, not to speak of the present. Seeing thus, Pikhas, the instructed noble disciple is indifferent towards the mind of the past, for its fading away and cessation. In the past, future, and present, the six interior sense fields are impermanent, suffering, and not self. When a noble disciple truly sees them like this, they become disillusioned and liberated. SN.35.8 Ajhataduka Titanagata Sutta, the internal as suffering in the three times. At Savathi. Pikhas, the eye is suffering. Both of the past and the future, not to speak of the present. Seeing thus, the mind is suffering. For its fading away and cessation. In the past, future, and present, the six interior sense fields are suffering and not self. When a noble disciple truly sees them like this, they become disillusioned and liberated. SN.35.9, 9, Ajhatanatatatanagata Sutta, the internal as non-self in the three times. At Savathi, Pikhas, the I is non-self, both of the past and the future, not to speak of the present. Seeing thus, the mind is non-self, for its fading away and cessation. In the past, future, and present, the six interior sense fields are not self. When a noble disciple truly sees them like this, they become disillusioned and liberated. SN.35.10-12 The external as impermanent in the three times, etc. These three suttas are identical with 7-9, but by way of the six external sense bases. 
N35.13 Padhamma Pubhasambhadha Sutta, Before My Enlightenment, 1. At Savathi. Pikhas, Before My Enlightenment While I was still a Bodhisattva, not yet fully enlightened, it occurred to me, what is the gratification, what is the danger, what is the escape in the case of the I? What is the gratification, what is the danger, what is the escape in the case of the ear, the nose, the tongue, the body, the mind? Then, Pikhas, it occurred to me, the pleasure and joy that arise in dependence on the I, this is the gratification in the I. That the I is impermanent, suffering, and subject to change, this is the danger in the I. The removal and abandonment of desire and lust for the I, this is the escape from the I. The pleasure and joy that arise in dependence on the ear, the nose, the tongue, the body, the mind, this is the gratification in the mind. That the mind is impermanent, suffering, and subject to change, this is the danger in the mind. They Removal and abandonment of desire and lust for the mind, this is the escape from the mind. So long, Pikhas, as I did not directly know as they really are the gratification, the danger and the escape in the case of these six internal sense bases, I did not claim to have awakened to the unsurpassed perfect enlightenment in this world with its Devas, Mara and Brahma, in this generation with its ascetics and Brahmins, its Devas and humans. But when I directly knew all this as it really is, then I claimed to have awakened to the unsurpassed perfect enlightenment in this world with its Devas and humans. The knowledge and vision arose in me, unshakable is my liberation of mind, this is my last birth, now there is no more renewed existence. The Buddha did not claim to be awakened until he had fully understood the gratification, drawback and escape regarding the six interior sense fields. SN.35.14 Dudiye Pubhasambhadha Sutta, Before My Enlightenment, 2. The same is repeated for the six external sense bases. The Buddha did not claim to be awakened until he had fully understood the gratification, drawback and escape regarding the six exterior sense fields. SN.35.15 Patamasada Pariesana Sutta, Seeking Gratification, 1. Pikhas, I set out seeking the gratification in the I. Whatever gratification there is in the I that I discovered. I have clearly seen with wisdom just how far the gratification in the I extends. Pikhas, I set out seeking the danger in the I. Whatever danger there is in the I that I discovered. I have clearly seen with wisdom just how far the danger in the I extends. Pikhas, I set out seeking the escape from the I. Whatever escape there is from the I that I discovered. I have clearly seen with wisdom just how far the escape from the I extends. Pikhas, I set out seeking the gratification in, the danger in, the escape from the ear, the nose, the tongue, the body, the mind. Whatever escape there is from the mind that I discovered. I have clearly seen with wisdom just how far the escape from the mind extends. So long, Pikhas, as I did not directly know as they really are the gratification, the danger and the escape in the case of these six internal sense bases. I did not claim to have awakened to the unsurpassed perfect enlightenment in this world with its Devas, Mara and Brahma, in this generation with its ascetics and Brahmins, its Devas and humans. But when I directly knew all this as it really is, then I claimed to have awakened to the unsurpassed perfect enlightenment in this world with its Devas and humans. The knowledge and vision arose in me, unshakable is my liberation of mind, this is my last birth. Now there is no more renewed existence. The Buddha set out to find the gratification, drawback and escape regarding the six interior sense fields. SN.35.16 Dudiyasata Pariesana Sutta, Seeking Gratification, 2. The same for the six external sense bases. SN.35.17 Patamano Sisata Sutta, If There Were No, 1. Pikhas, If There Were No Gratification in the Eye, Beings would not become enamored with it, but because there is gratification in the eye, beings become enamored with it. If there were no danger in the eye, beings would not experience revulsion towards it, but because there is danger in the eye, beings experience revulsion towards it. 
If there were no escape from the eye, beings would not escape from it, but because there is an escape from the eye, beings escape from it. Pikhas, if there were no gratification in the ear, in the nose, in the tongue, in the body, in the mind, beings would not become enamored with it, but because there is an escape from the mind, beings escape from it. So long, Pikhas, as beings have not directly known as they really are the gratification as gratification, the danger as danger, and the escape as escape in the case. Of these six internal sense bases, they have not escaped from this world with its Devas, Mara, and Brahma, from this generation with its ascetics and Brahmins, its Devas, and humans, they have not become detached from it, released from it, nor do they dwell with a mind rid of barriers. But when beings have directly known all this as it really is, then they have escaped from this world with its devas and humans, they have become detached from it, released from it, and they dwell with a mind rid of barriers. Beings are attached to the six interior sense fields due to gratification, repelled due to drawbacks, and find escape because there is an escape. SN.35.18 to the Yunosi Seda Sutta, if there were no, two. The same for the six external sense bases. SN.35.9 Patamabhananda Sutta, Delight, 1. Pikhas, one who seeks delight in the eye seeks delight in suffering. One who seeks delight in suffering, I say, is not freed from suffering. One who seeks delight in the ear, in the nose, in the tongue, in the body, in the mind seeks delight in suffering. One who seeks delight in suffering, I say, is not freed from suffering. One who does not seek delight in the eye, in the mind does not seek delight in suffering. One who does not seek delight in suffering, I say, is freed from suffering. If you enjoy the six interior sense fields, you enjoy suffering. SN.35.20 Dudhi Yabhananda Sutta, Delight, 2. The same for the six external sense bases. SN.35.21 Padhamadukapada Sutta, Arising of Suffering, 1. Pikhas, the arising, continuation, production, and manifestation of the eye is the arising of suffering, the continuation of disease, the manifestation of aging and death. The arising of the ear, the nose, the tongue, the body, the mind is the arising of suffering, the continuation of disease, the manifestation of aging and death. The cessation, subsiding, and passing away of the eye, the mind is the cessation of suffering, the subsiding of disease, the passing away of aging and death. The arising of the six interior sense fields is the arising of suffering. SN.35.22 Dudhi Yadukapada Sutta, Arising of Suffering, 2, the same for the six external sense bases. YouTube Video Buddhist Sutras HTTPS slash slash www.youtube.com slash user slash lich 1299 slash playlist S and SN 071.